I'm Yu Jiazhou from Renmin University of China. And today, the name of my talk is Metacognitive Retrieval Augmented Large Language Models. So let's begin with several questions. The first is, what is Retrieval Augmented Large Language Models? The left part is the basic RAG framework. Given a question, we first retrieve some external references and then concatenate the question and references into a large language model and ask it to generate an answer. And the motivation of RAG framework is that language models often generate hallucinated content. And the advantage of this RAG framework is it can look up relevant information from external knowledge bases, ensuring a more reliable and precise content generation. However, if the answer is wrong, how can we know why the answer is wrong? The reason behind this is what? And the existing method often adhere to predefined reasoning steps over all questions. And they often lack the ability to diagnose specific errors in their responses. In fact, there are different kinds of reasons that will yield the wrong answer. For example, if the retrieved reference cannot include the answer, the language model will make mistakes. So we introduce the concept of metacognition. What is the difference between cognition and metacognition. The left part is the general cognition process. The language model directly reasoning the answer. It focuses on the learning, understanding, memorizing, and computing. And the right part is the metacognition process. It first copy another language model. It is awareness of reasoning process. It focuses on observation, self-reflection, judgment, and selection. The concept of metacognition comes from the cognitive science. So what is the process of human metacognition? The left part, the green part, is the human cognition process. When a problem comes, the, we use our own knowledge to solve this problem. It focuses on fundamental information and the, what we know. It is a static understanding process. And the red part is the metacognitive knowledge process. We it first using another language, another brain to think what we know, how we know, and why we know that. It is dynamic evaluating and, and planning phase. The whole framework is a metacognitive regulation. So how to apply metacognition to retrieve augmented large language model? This the green part is the RAG framework, and the, the blue part is the metacognitive RAG framework. It first use the monitoring to determine if the answer is satisfied. If it is, it is satisfied, it will directly generate the answer. However, it, if the answer is unsatisfied, it will activate the metacognitive re regulation phase, including the evaluating and planning. It use the metacognitive knowledge. It, con it includes two parts of knowledge to refine the answer. So we first do a case study to for this task, we do our experiments on hotspot QA data set, and uh, we classify the knowledge condition into four conditions. No, no, no knowledge, only external, only internal, and internal, both internal and external. No knowledge means neither the language model nor retrieved documents can provide the answer correctly. And under in, ex, only external means answer can be found in retrieved documents, but not directly from the language model. Only internal means the language model can answer the question directly. And both of them, it means it, both of them can directly answer the question. And uh, this is the figure we can find that as the knowledge be more sufficient, the accuracy of the model is growth. And uh, finally, we we summarize three primary challenges in a multi-hop QA data set. It is insufficient knowledge, conflicting knowledge, and the erroneous reasoning. So based on this, we propose the metacognitive RAG framework. It includes three phases. The first is monitoring. It is assess the satisfaction of the answer, which then determines whether to activate the metacognitive evaluating phase. And the second phase is evaluating. It means to identify the shortcomings of the provided responses. And the finally is the planning phase. It is focused on how can we refine the answer and how can we use the effective regulation of the original cognitive process? This is the whole framework of our meta-RAG framework. 
the left part is the RG phase. It is the cognition space. And the blue part is the metacognition space. We regard the left LLM as a QA system and the right LLM as an evaluator and critic system. First, with this paper, we focus on the consistency consistency between the external and the external reference. And uh, the first phase is monitoring. We use a like, expert model to determine if we activate the metacognition phase. And uh, then we use the evaluating and planning phase to refine the answer. This is the evaluating phase. We focus on two main questions. The first is, are both internal and external sources of knowledge is sufficient to tackle the proposed questions? And the second question is, is the reasoning process of the QA LLM susceptible to common issues often encountered in multi-hop QA? We classify the metacognitive knowledge into two types of knowledge. The first is procedure knowledge. It examines the sufficiency of both the internal and the external knowledge for a given query. For the internal knowledge evaluating, we, we conduct it by language model itself. And uh, for evaluating the external knowledge sufficiency, we use an external NLI model. And the declarative knowledge means to some concepts and uh, textual knowledge. It is used to identify specific error patterns. We list some common patterns such as incomplete reasoning, answer redundancy, and ambiguity understanding. After evaluating, we can classify the situation into four types. The first is the first is both internal and external knowledge can support the question. It's however if the answer is still wrong, it will be the erroneous reasoning. And we will double checking the reasoning process and providing some stretches stressors. And uh, the other three conditions can be classified into the insufficient knowledge and the conflicting knowledge. If the knowledge is insufficient, we will ask, ask the model to generate a new query to search again to get some external references. And if the knowledge is conflicting, we will ask, prompt the language model to discard the external references and or rely on the provided reference. We conduct the experiments on two multi-hop QA datasets and uh, compare some baselines. It regards including some using or not using retriever and uh, if using a multi-time retriever strategy and if apply a self-critic system. We can find that our meta RAG framework can outperform existing, existing baselines. This is some other experiments. The first the first table is means we use some other models as the expert model to monitor the answer. We compare some large language models and the fine-tuned QA models. We find that the fine-tuned QA models can perform better than zero-shot large language models. And these two figure means we compare the performance with different similarity there hold and uh, the number of iterations on two wiki multi-help QA data set. The simulatory threshold means the how can we the difficulty to activate the metacognitive evaluating phase. The larger threshold means it is more likely to activate the metacognitive evaluating phase. However, we find that too much more metacognition doesn't yield a better result. And the number of iterations also confirm these findings. If we use six number of iterations, the performance will drop. And uh, the last figure means the planning strategy under each knowledge conditions, insufficient, conflicting, and sufficient. We find that existing studies often tackle the problem of insufficient knowledge, but uh, our meta RAG framework often can take over the conflicting knowledge and the sufficient knowledge conditions. Yeah, that's all the content. Thanks for your attention.